What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Trevor, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Yeah, it's been a month, guys. Literally been a month since I've been here, and, well, it is finally time for us to continue our adventure right here in uh, Mahogany? No, it could take the... No, yeah, Mahogany Town. I think it is. I think that's what it is. Okay, so there has been some kind of weird signal coming on from the radio, and, well, we're gonna have to go straight up north just because... You know, we need to do something. We're the hero right here. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I heard that you can find a red scale occasionally. Speaking of which, I know a person who'd appreciate a red scale. Who? Can't remember. Wow. Thanks for the, the, thanks for the help and all that stuff. Anywho, let's see. Uh, before we do anything, I kind of want to do something right here. Let's see. Do I have enough Pokeballs? Because, uh, yeah, we're going to be... Yeah, we're gonna be trying to capture a Pokemon right here, and, uh, okay, so I think I have enough Pokeballs right here just to go on ahead and just, uh, dabble in our little thing right here. So, here we are battling another trainer, and she's like, I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. Anywho, guys. Yeah, I know, I took a month on from playing Pokemon Heart Gold. I believe there's a very good reason, and that's because, well... Playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and then a bunch of other stuff right there. But don't worry, guys, I did not forget about this game. I know some of you guys wanted to see this game back, so here we are in full effect with Nessie. Kicking ass, taking names, looking at. And, uh, well, let's see. We got a Zubat coming in here, and we're gonna be going with Love Vault. And, well, you guys already know the, the secret in Pokemon X, yes! Uh, Fluff Vault has made an appearance right there. Mainly because in Pokemon X it's kind of like a uh, tribute to the six regions before, you know, we had in, well, we went into Pokemon, uh, what was it called, uh, Sun and Moon, and then eventually Sword and Shield and all that stuff. So yeah, a lot of, uh, lots and lots of stuff that we've uh, actually covered uh, in, the, in, the, in the last few days, or within the last month and stuff. But don't worry, guys. Pokemon Heart Gold is in this rotation right here because, well, still in the pandemic. Do not like it, and I need to entertain every single one of you guys right there. So now here we are in. Let's see, what route are we in? I, I, I didn't even read it. Didn't even pay attention. Hold on. Uh, trainer tips: all pros and cons depending on type. If they're type stiffer, even higher level Pokemon may lose a battle. Learn which types are strong uh, or weak against your Pokemon's type. Okay, so let's see what. Okay, so what route are we in? Let's go to the Poke Gear right here. And of course, there's that radio transmission, so that's all you're gonna hear right now. And, well, probably should switch it off. Like, here we are on Route 43, and, well, I'm not gonna go in there because, of course, Pokemon or uh, Team Rocket is gonna be there, but. There is a signal going on, and it's causing a huge mess around Route 43. So I'm gonna go the long way and battle some Pokemon trainers right here because screw it, I am I'm not going to automatically lose a thousand dollars to Team Rocket out of all people, Team Rocket. So I'm gonna run away, and as you can see, I do have Relic on my on the front of my team because I kind of want to evolve it into an Espeon. That's right, guys. The team is making a comeback right here in Heart Gold. Now I did get a bit of a complaint. Uh, within the last few episodes after I covered the Pokemon, uh, well, the last 19, I think. Uh, one of you guys was like, I can't believe you switched out Lucky. I thought you were going to give it a redemption. Well, I am. I am, guys, don't worry. It's just that, you know, I feel more comfortable with a dual-type Pokemon like, uh, like, what was his name? Um, like Lapras, because, well, it's a little bit stronger. It's a lot more faster, believe it or not, so... Yeah, and well, let's see. Hi, you like Clefairy too? They are very cute, aren't they? I think they can go. They, we can be good friends. I want to get your phone number. Uh, no. Do you not like Clefairy? So let's go ahead and surf. And I got like, <clears throat> wow, like my voice has been hoarse all freaking week because no, guys, I didn't get the Rona or anything like that. It's because of the fires and the ashes. Is like you know just annoying the crap out of me, especially it, it breathing hard. It, like, can't even take a run outside, which is really annoying. So, we're gonna cover all that stuff towards the other side, well, towards the east right here. But let's just go ahead and straight up battle people. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? Yes, I do. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Last time I checked, I captured a rare Pokemon in the cave. And here he comes out with Nidorina. And, of course, we're gonna be Switch battling right here. 
And uh, I do not have a psychic type Pokemon, so let's go right to Cinder right here. You know, eventually we might have to get a, a psychic type Pokemon at some point. So let's go with a flame wheel right here. Flame wheel does its thing, and look at that. We get burned, and we get poisoned, and, you know, there's a double kick. Doesn't do any good. So let's go right ahead and do the same thing again with the flame wheel. And Nidorina has been beat. And yes, we're still getting hurt by these poisons and stuff. So we're going to be switching it up right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go straight to Toxic Batman. Alrighty. Alright, Nidorina. You don't like me and I don't like you, but guess what? I'm going to be using a wing attack. Now, I did choose a... I did choose going to Mahogany Town first because we always go straight to uh, Olivine City and then Ecrotech City. We can take care of two of those, or is it Ecrotech City? No, 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 no. Olivine City and Crap Baskets. I, actually, I do not want to talk to this guy. Hold on. Man, I... No, I do not want any phone numbers. And right when we're about to go to the map, yes, uh... Yeah, we're not going to answer that. Um, yeah, it makes me sound like a total jerk, ignoring my mom's phone calls and all that stuff, but guess what? We're not answering her phone calls because, yeah, we need to check where we're at, and, well, we need to poison uh, heal right here. Look at that. Nope, wrong one. Uh, Olivine, Mahogany, and Sinewood City. There we go. Okay. Took me a while right there, guys. It's not because I'm turning, or it's not because I turned 30. It's just, yeah. Very forgetful. Lots of stuff. And I should probably put on a repel while I'm at it. And... Damn it. I need to... Oh, crap. Well, that right there bugged the crap out of me. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Hercules right here. And... Well... Really? You're going to be paralyzing both our Pokemon? Good God. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, run away. That really bugs me when two Pokemon are, are paralyzed right here. So let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a Max Ether. Now remember, if you go through this shortcut right here, Team Rocket will automatically, you know, charge you a thousand dollars. And uh, trust me, guys, you don't want that. And well, as for me, I do not have a healing item. Oh wait, actually, I do. Next poison. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Person confusion. Uh, Oran, that's HP. Seriously, I don't have. Oh, good God. Eh, never mind. Well, I'm just gonna move on ahead. Whatever. Okay, so here we go. Another trainer. And this guy's gonna be like, I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I ke I'll keep collecting. Okay, alrighty. So, I am going. I am going to just destroy people right now because Slowbro. Is right here, so we're gonna be switching it out to Fluff Vault right now. Now, like I said, Fluff Vault has already made his appearance in Pokemon X, and hopefully, it will evolve soon again because it's like easy levels. And really, uh, yeah, this episode's not going the way I wanted to right now. I'm like getting my butt kicked by these Pokemon right here. And well, there we go, a little bit of HP, and here comes the confusion. Doesn't do me well. Let's go again, tackle attack, and come on! He's giving me a chance to live right here. Damn it! Okay, let's go with the tackle attack. Screw it! Come on! Yeah, this, this slow bro is giving me a chance to just live, and right now I haven't gotten disabled, or gotten out of that disabled, and... Oh. Come on! Ah, Jeebus. Ah! Screw it! Let's just move another Pokemon right here. Screw it. Let's go Nessie right here. Body Slam is mother lover, you know. Alright, let's go. Body Slam for the win. Eat it! Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, God. I hate you. Fucking slow, bro. Eat a dick. Look at that. See, just a little angry right now. Just a little bit. And Fluff Vault grows to level 20, 24. Can't even say that right. Okay, let's move on ahead. Yes, I know my Eevee's a little paralyzed right now, and, well, we're gonna take care of that later, but right now... <sighs> God. I should have probably bought more healing items while I was at it, so let's go ahead and, uh... Well, use our last Super Potion onto Floodbolt right here. And, well, let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Would you get this? 
Some red-haired uh, red kid made fun of my person Pokemon. Huh. My Pokemon's great. Eh, we'll see about that. We shall see about that. So, here we go, Pokemaniac Ron, to coming out with his Mito King, and, well, let's again switch our, our Pokemon. Yes, we're going to be doing some switch training until Relic finally evolves. Again, if you want to evolve it into either Espeon or Ombreon, it all depends on the night and day. Espeon, of course, will evolve, uh, or you will evolve your Eevee into Espeon in the daytime, Ombreon in the nighttime, so just be aware of that, guys. I know many of you guys are, like, giving me recommendations for teams. Well, I'm hearing you loud and clear, guys. So, let's see. North of, Ray, Le, Le, north of Lake Rage and south of Mahogany Town. Okay. So, here we are, guys. Lake of Rage. And it is raining like crazy. And the Fishing Guru's house. Let's go inside and talk to this guy right here. Let's see. What, what's up? The Lake of Rage, uh, the Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on, passed on from my grandpa, uh, my grandpa's great, great, great grandpa. It used to be that you could catch a lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. Hmm. I don't know. It must be something weird, awesome, whatever. And, well, let's see, talk to this girl. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Eh, uh, yeah. Me too. But this guy here is going to be like, Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. It is. It's a very, 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 very bad omen. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to be battling some trainers. And then after that, just go ahead and capture that red Gyarados if we can. And this guy's like, I heard this lake was made by Rampage Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to their mass outbreak right now. Hmm. Their ma there's a mass outbreak, and, well, look at that. There's some stabs, so it looks like we could actually just surf right there. Okay, so there are no other trainers. Let's go right ahead and just go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and take on that, uh, that Gyarados, and then heal our Pokemon and all that crud. So let's go and switch out our Pokemon right here. No, nope, hold on. Switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Fluffle right here for obvious reasons. And let's surf. Look at this. We are surfing, of course. Yeah. We got ourselves a, a Lapras. And really? Right when we're trying to get out of here, we get ourselves a Magikarp trying to attack us. Yeah, that ain't happening. And then, well, since it's, it is raining, Magikarp are going to be a little faster than us right here. So, here is that red Gyarados that people have been talking about. What I'm going to do right now is save the game because good old Draven likes to screw around sometimes. He likes to F up everything. So, we're going to be going in and just destroying his uh, red Gyarados. Not really. We're just going to capture him, put him on our collection, and then uh, never have anything to do with him ever again. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on this Gyarados. What's up? What's up? You want all the smoke? Let's get this smoke. Come on! Talk to me! Yasha! Okay, so here we go against Red Gyarados. It is a shiny Pokemon. Look at that. Crazy looking shiny Pokemon. It was. It's the first of its kind, believe it or not. And... Well, I'm going to go Thunder Wave this guy. and He will have Twister, so... Be aware of that. You will not escape that, especially if you fly. And, well, it is raining, and it's at level 30, so let's go ahead and try and hurt it a little. Hopefully there is no critical hits, and wow, here comes that Dragon Rage. Automatic 40 points taken away. So let's go one more Thunderbolt, or Thundershock, and it is super effective. And yes, you cannot move, you a hole. Uh, Gyarados. So let's go ahead and tackle this guy. Stay. You see? Look at that. Okay, so that's good. And there comes the Twister. Now I do have an Ultra Ball right here. So I think I should just throw that little bastard. So here it is. Ultra Ball. Come on. Stay. And yes! Throwing at the peace sign, guys. It will be added to our Pokedex. And look at that. Red Gyarados. Atrocious Pokemon. Water and flying. And yes! 21, uh, 21 feet, 4 inches, 518 pounds of pure muscle. They say that the, during the past strife, Gyarados would appear and leave blazing ruins in its wake. That is scary. And, well, you guys already know who this Gyarados is. It's Hydra number 2. 
that's what I'm going to name it right here. So there we go, Hydra. And uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be using this guy on this walkthrough right here. Maybe, just maybe, in a like battle here or there for the Pokemon League when I battle people again. I don't know. We will be facing the Elite Four again. So, Hydra 2, welcome back. And here we have the Red Scale. And I know a place where we can use that Red Scale. So, let's go back and, well, after taking on the Red Gyarados, you'll see this man right here. Talk to him and he's like, that Red Gyarados wasn't acting right. As I feared, somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of that, the Wild Tales? You're dreaming. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw the the way you battled earlier, Draven. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure, why not? Excellent! It seems that the Lake of Rage's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably the cause. And that suspicious souvenir shop... I'll be waiting for you in Mahogany t uh, Town, Draven. So here he goes, he's gonna be flying with that dr uh, Dragon Knight. And, well, I don't have fly. I just need to go down there, so... Uh, I'm gonna use my bike right here. Look at that. I am riding my bike. It stopped raining. I don't need to face anybody anymore, and I would just... I was so close to getting into that building. That would've been a thousand dollars taken care of. Okay, so... In our next episode, guys, we will be going into the into the secret hideout for Team Rocket. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be at some other location beforehand, so stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. See you guys.